twin flames, you look, you know, usually you look just like the other person. You look a lot alike because you're twins. You're once one soul that got split into two. Now, if they both had the same hairstyle, they would look like the same person. This could definitely be a twin flame, so it's a huge transformation. And obviously, with your, if, if it's a true twin flame, you know what I mean? Um, it's written in the Bible. Look, it's, it's already destined for you. Somebody was trying to sacrifice you because of this. Absolutely not. So yeah, your false flame, this could be your false flame that's being eclipsed out because they failed their mission. There's no reason for them to be here. You're standing in your power. You want absolutely nothing to do with them at all. Like, not even a little bit. Like, you don't care what happens. Not wishing any ill will on them or anything. You don't wish any bad, nothing bad on them, but you just don't give a fuck. Like, you don't want nothing to do with them. You're, you're standing after you know you are a high priest or high priestess. You know what they were doing to you. They, kn You know what they were trying. They were trying to just unalive you. Why the fuck would you care about what happens to this person? You don't want nothing to do. You don't wish ill will on nobody, but you don't care. You want, like, it's like they're already dead to you, right? As it needs to be. You have to start to get to a point where you forget their even names, all right? Because they're so, you know, they, they don't mean anything to you anymore. Why would you allow them to come back in to poison you to, 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 um, try and sacrifice you again? No, fuck that, okay? We rebuke that in the name of Jesus, okay? Absolutely not. And because you're standing so firmly in your power, you're not allowing this, these people to come back into your life is why you're coming into union with your true one. And it's going to be a huge transformation, okay? The Empress, okay? This is either your Empress coming in or you're the Empress. You're very creative. You're very fertile, all right? You're using, you're all the queens embodied in one, whether you're masculine or feminine. Somebody might be coming in in a very creative way. So, like, I feel like, I feel like this is someone's twin flame. They know you're their person. Um, you're already connected into 5D. You're already dreaming of each other. Um, of, uh, bleh. You're already dreaming of each other. And I feel like with the Empress here and the Two of Cups, they know that either you're their Empress or they're your Empress. Put the roles where they fit. But I feel like they're thinking of a creative way to come into union with you, possibly. They see how creative you are, too. You stand out more than anybody in the crowd. In a positive way, yeah, you're a fucking star, dude. This could be a very healing, a very healing, um, this is a world-renowned star. You're famous. Or they are. Your person, or you or your person are famous. If, and if it's twin flame, you're definitely going to become famous. All right, and no, it's not because of your person's fame. You were both destined for fame, okay? One of them, one of you just happened to walk into the spotlight first, right? And then the other one comes into the spotlight. And it's not because, oh, you're famous because you're person. No, 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 no. You're famous because your own creed, your own creativity, your own fertility, okay? You, you're both destined for this, all right? One just happens to jump into the spotlight first, you feel me? Somebody definitely tried to do a destiny swap. They tried to do a fucking... No, absolutely not. Somebody also knows they're about to pass away. They don't want to... They know you're a healer. They want to apologize because they need your healing gifts. Okay, they need you to heal them. Three of Cups, they're not celebrating. They have nothing to celebrate. Their life is just like, you know, what the energy that they've been putting out. Ten of Wands are heavily burdened. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be somebody in your past that's like, you know... Um, all they, they only care about money and getting money. They'll do anything underhandedly to get money. They're definitely siphoning from you or stealing from you. She's being forced to be put into timeout, pretty much, in, in hermit mode. She might be going to prison because she refused to balance things out. She's stuck right now and stagnant.
somebody tried to have you suck a segment, so that's being sent back to them. This somebody's going to some. This is like a um. Somebody's going. Somebody's passing away, and it has to happen from what everything they've been doing. And I'm telling you, somebody is stuck. They're they're passing away. They know it. They want to apologize to you. They're gonna finally stand in their power on their deathbed, and they're gonna apologize. And this might even be because the love spell is backfiring on them, so they're like obsessively obsessed with you. So now, like, they can't move on, right? They're stuck. They can't move on to the afterlife because they're, you know, it's they're gonna be stuck here, right? So they want to apologize before before they pass away. And I don't know how they're gonna do this. I don't know if they're gonna reach out to you, or if they're gonna send somebody else to apologize for you, or if they're gonna leave a note, a video, or something. But I feel like somebody is getting an apology letter or apology on their deathbed. That's when they're finally going to apologize. Or it may be after they pass. It's, it's like going to be like a video or letter or something. You might end up getting it from the authorities. I don't know. Maybe somebody's life is decreasing and um, their health. From all the spells they've been doing. Somebody wants to apologize for endlessly putting, making you stuck and stagnant or trying to. Because now they're matching that energy confirmation. Right? Now they're, they're stuck in that, um, you know what I mean? That energy that they put out, that they were trying to put onto you. Now they know what it feels like to be stuck, to be stagnant, to, you know what I mean? To have for, no forward movement. They're not having any. They're going to, they're passing away. And now they understand what it feels like, and they don't like it, not one bit. And now everybody's turning on them. They have nobody there to care for them. They know that you are the only loyal motherfucker that would have been there wiping their ass and everything. Now they regret siding with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. They wish they were there for you, being on your side, because they know that you would have been there, damn right well would have been there. You would have poured all your love into this person, all your care into this person. And they fucked that up. They, they wish they would have never tried to sacrifice you. They wish they would have kept you because they would have had great health. They would have had wealth. They would have had power. They would have had protection. They have none of that. They would actually, you know what I mean? And they know this. They wish they would have never tried to do this. They wish they would have been on their side. Now they're heavily burdened because they need you. And they can't have you. They also want to just come in to give you their heavy burns. Fuck that. I rebuke that in the magician. And I return it back to a cinder. The magician. The trunk. Death magic, bitch. Knock it off, loser. Now they're stuck. Now they're... Look, death magic they're doing. Now they want to apologize because they know that it's coming back to them. They know that they're fucking dying for doing this. And that person that lost their divinity, they had this person come... Somebody from your past reached out to this person and told them some bullshit... Alright, acted like there was somebody of power and said to do death magic on you. Now everything in their life is completely the trans like they're losing everything for coming for you. Everything. You're manifesting your union. This Queen of Cups is very cold hearted, detached piece of wench. If it's a mother, if it's a mother figure, okay, it could have been your mama or like somebody you looked at like a mom or could be a sister, aunt, a cousin, somebody that reached out to this person and, and, um, and said some bullshit, I don't know, they could have did love spells on this person or something, I don't know what they did, but they did some, um, some stupid shit and now they're gonna pay with their ultimate price, which is their life. They're also trying to do some sort of magic to have people look at you in a negative form, like a negative light. To try to make you appear as them and them appear as you. Absolutely not. I repeat that in the news. I never heard about this in it. And I demand that just, um, judgment be called and justice and karma justice be served on that front of ASAP. Rocky! So they could be ASAP. So they could be Rocky. They're in deep emotional pain. Because this death magic going back to them. Now they're descending. They're going straight to hell. It's where they belong. And they're in deep emotional pain watching you. Constantly watching you getting your victory, success, public recognition, and fame. Because this is a star right underneath of the Six of Wands. They know you are, you are a star. You're about to be famous if you're not already. 
you have a lot of opportunities coming your way, but now they're butthurt because they know that reliving all the lies, the betrayals, the manipulation, everything that they did, and it's all going back to them now. And they, they don't like the energy, but yet it's what they put out. It's what, how did they think that you felt when they were doing it to you? They didn't give a fuck about that. They were celebrating when they were doing it to you. So why would you care about them? You shouldn't. They, they realize now they sacrificed their empress, or they attempted to, but they were unable to. They know that you are the empress. You're very creative. You're very fertile. Whatever you're doing with your creativity, your fertility is making you famous. Keep going, honey. Keep going, all right? You're doing an amazing job. Yeah, they're not celebrating at all, man. Like I'm telling you, someone's passing away. It could be three people. It could be the power of the three. They're fucking stupid. They're going to hell. They have no celebrations. They're fucking stagnant. They're miserable as all get out. Yeah, they know the devil's coming to collect. They know it. 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 And I'm telling you, somebody wants to apologize to you on their deathbed because they know they're about to pass away. And also they know your ships are coming in, your, your fame's coming in, you're about to be a world-renowned star, okay? You're about to be famous, you are a famous healer or something. Whatever you're doing with your creativity or fertility, you're healing with so many people around the world. Keep going, all right? Or you're going to. They know it's coming in. They know you're coming into union. They know that it's complete ending, like ruining, reckoning for them. Some witch bitch, okay? She's passing away. Nine of Wands in the reverse, they have to they have to admit defeat. They can't go on, okay? They're not gonna make it through. It could be a witch that's like a um Scorpio or she's just passing away from doing all this death magic on you. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't wanna be in the Five of Pentacles. They wanna come out of black. But they can't, all right? Because you're standing in power in your power, you're coming out, okay? You're not in the five of pentacles anymore. You're manifesting yourself out of the five of pentacles, okay? They're trying to manifest you into fuck no, that's not happening. I'm not even gonna speak those stupid ass words. Okay, you are protected. Someone's name could be Mike, Michael, Mikey. Every time I see the King of Swords, I always um think of Archangel Michael. They're they're in deep emotional pain about your protection. They were told not to do this shit. There was the signs were all over the place. They refused to do it. Your stardom is protected. Your union is protected. You coming out, you worked so fucking hard to come up out of the five of pentacles with all odds stacked against you, okay? And there's nobody that's gonna stop this or block this. You are also protected from this nasty ass dirty little witch bitch. Okay, this that could be this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. They're being forced into um into hermit mode, whether it's like health issues. I feel like three people are passing away. There's three they're stuck, okay? These three little witches or whatever this is, or warlocks that were attacking you, they're, it's over for them. They're doing witchcraft on your, your, your creativity, your fertility, your finances, and everything else. They're trying super hard to keep you into hermit mood, but that's not happening. They don't, they want, they're trying to keep you locked away. This is like giving like Rapunzel, um, energy or something. Somebody like wants to siphon from your beauty or something? Fuck out of here. They're not, she's not going to make it through. She's going to be passing away. This witch bitch. She's passing away. I feel like three people are passing away. They have to accept defeat. They know you're too protected. They know you're the true empress. Or, you know what I mean? Or emperor, but the roles already fit. They're mad because you won't bow down to them. You won't just, like, what the fuck? They're spying on you. Someone's also getting locked up for gang stalking you, cyberbullying you, and, and you know invading your privacy as well. Also, your person found out your your true person found out that they were with. They're standing in their power now. They're protecting themselves, protecting you too, because they found out that the person that they were with 
is like their false flame or whatever is a witch bitch that was only there for their finances and their fame or their success or whatever this is okay so i feel like your person's famous okay and I feel like you're about to be, and again, it's not because of their fame, it's because of your own fame, what you're here to do. These are both destined for fame. But your person found out that they were with some sort of witch bitch or a warlock that was only there for their finances. I feel like this is a masculine energy that knows about their false flame as a female, right? And that she, because look, it's a high priestess in the reverse, over top of the queen of pentacles in the reverse, with the hermit, which is a female in the reverse, okay? Over top of the empress, they know you're their true empress, okay? And the masculine knows that the theme, that you're, you know, whatever, put the rules where they fit, okay? I'm reading how the cards are showing me. They're, they're standing in their power, they're protecting you, because they found out this, the person that they were with, was their false flame, and they're doing witchcraft, death magic, and all types of shit with people from their past, and people from your past, or whatever, to try to ruin you, to try to have a complete reckoning. So now, they're standing in their power, they're protecting you, they're very powerful, your twin flame is very powerful, you're very powerful as well. And they're protecting you. They're not, you know what I mean? They're, he's cutting her completely to fuck off. Or you're, unless it's is you, we put the rules already fit, you could be the masculine, okay? And you found out about all this. And you're about to have a major transformation, okay? They they know that you, the, the masculine knows you're the, like the female is the, like, you know, put the rules already fit. The divine being is the empress, not this witch bitch, okay? And they're coming in. And there's no stopping or blocking this. And I don't know, I feel like they might even be stuck until they do, because this could be God's way of telling them, like, look, they're not celebrating, they're not happy where they are, alright? They they might feel like they're stuck, and that's why they're there, they want to apologize to you, they're trying to apologize to you from, like, you know, from the ethers, like, look, I, I don't, it's not that, you know, they, they don't want to be where they are, they just feel stuck right now, okay? Maybe because of family, friends, whatever the situation is. You could possibly feel stuck too, or something like that, just because you don't want to be. I don't know, something like that's happening here. But they're like trying to apologize to you from the ethers. Like, look, I don't, I mean, you know, whatever the situation is, they don't, they're trying to let you know they're not celebrating where they are. They don't want to be with this person. All right. They're protecting you in the ethers or like in the, in the spirit and everything. They're protecting you from this witch bitch. Maybe that's what it is too. They might be afraid because this bitch is like real crazy. All right, but they need to realize that you're more powerful and you know you'll be able to destroy this bitch at any time you feel me so like i don't understand what that's about but i feel like they feel stuck they feel like they're stuck to this person or something it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be someone like from their past i don't fucking know but they need to just stand up on like stand in their fucking power and just say fuck you i'm not allowing you to hold my blessings back anymore get the fuck out of here kick rocks and just come to you because you're way more powerful than this bitch but I feel like maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's afraid that she's going to cause, like, whatever, you know, chaos, destruction. But that's a fear, okay? Fears of the devil, therefore, has no power over you. you got to realize she, that's how she's getting you. That's how she's getting you is your fear. You need to let go of that fear, homie. You need to let go of that fear and move on. That's how she's holding you is by your stupid-ass fear. Why do you have any fear? Know who you are. Know your power. Know your protection. Take that sword, knock that bitch out of here. The fuck are you doing? Not, if not literally, okay? Don't be hurting nobody. <laughs> but just know your actual true twin flame is way more powerful than that bitch. You're way more powerful than that bitch. Like, what are you, what are you doing? She, you're allowing her to block your blessings. Yeah, and look, you're the true twin, you're the true um, high priest or high priestess. He needs to, that's what he needs to realize. That's how she's getting him stuck is his fucking, is his fear. She can't do nothing. And once she's come into union, bye bye to her. Like, there's no reason for her to be here. So he's blocking his own blessings by not coming forward. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, he's going to take a leap of faith, though. What I feel like whatever you're doing, you took a leap of faith. You're in your purpose. You're now here doing what you're supposed to be doing. This is why everything's coming together. This person is going to finally stand in their power, realize that what she's doing, she's controlling him. By letting his fear get to them and letting his fear stop, you know, stop him and block it, block y'all. That's what's blocking this whole thing is their fear. What are you fearing? There's nothing for you to fear. That's how she's holding you down. They're now going to take a leap of faith, okay, and come forward and realize that she can't destroy anything. The only person destroying anything is yourself by blocking it. Why are you blocking yourself, sir? Come forward, you know, and, and have your blessing. Stop letting this bitch block you. But that's what's happening here. So she's probably acting out all crazy and shit around him. And threatening to do this, that, and the other. 
That's how she's keeping him blocked and stuck. That's why he's stuck right now, it's because of her. Stand in your power, know your power, know your protection, know your worth. Just stop allowing this bitch to affect you. Take that leap of faith that you're being called to because you're going to continue being stuck until you stand in your power and you move on. That's how, you, you know what I mean? You have nothing to worry about. And I think he found out how she was trying to sacrifice him too. With people from his past, possibly even family members, I don't fucking know. Or people he considered to be family. The Emperor, there's, yeah, look, there's an Empress and here's the Emperor. They could be watching you at work, okay? Somebody's trying to call some sort of endings to your workplace and to whatever you got going on. They're trying to do this. But no, whatever you're doing for work, you bust your ass, okay? They're doing some sort of death magic on your work. It's not working, okay? It's going right back to the center. Um, they're trying super hard to have you stuck and stagnant in your work because they're not celebrating. They don't want you to be celebrating. Fuck that, okay? You bust your ass and come out of this Five of Pentacles energy and it's coming and you're about to have a huge transformation, all right? Now... They, I feel like maybe she could be doing like magic on death magic on his work as well so there might be like a finances thing or something or but I think what it really is is his fear his fear is what's stopping him his fear is what's blocking him his fear is what's getting hit her to, to, to control him why are you allowing like stop knock it the fuck up stand in your power know your worth know your protection know who the fuck you are they're in deep emotional pain because they don't want to be there with this person. She's a, He's afraid. Again, fear. You need to lose it, homie. He's afraid that she's going to come in and ruin everything. No. Who gives a fuck? Just stand in your power. Go get your fucking empress and stop being... Like, stop. Ace of Wands. You're going to have these passionate beginnings. Whatever you're doing in for work, too, you're about to have a major blow up, a major rebirth, okay? And they're going to come in. They're, there's the Empress and the Emperor. These are coming into union. You're manifesting this, okay? He needs to release any fears and realize she ain't shit. She's only a money-hungry hoe. She don't give a fuck about him, okay? She only wants his money. She only wants his stardom. She only wants his success. Absolutely not. What the fuck are you doing? Stand in your power and get the fuck away. This is your outcome, guys. Judgment. They're under judgment for this. Judgment's been gone. From all the death magic, everything that they did, and from all the chaos, destruction, all people, mayhem. You're protected, and either you call judgment or your person called judgment, or maybe he's both did, okay? All judgment on anybody that's attacking you or your finances, your health, your union, or anything. I demand that judgment be called, okay? And that, you know, anybody that's trying to get in the way of the, uh, of, you know, of your, uh, union or your work or, and, or your finances, that they be, you know, that they be stopped and call back your energy, your power, and everything back to you, your wealth back to your union to you, okay? Not back, because it's not, an, it's a new one. It's not anybody from your past. Called judgment on this nasty ass witch bitch that's a money hungry hoe, okay? You need to like make actions, dude. What are you doing? Stop allowing this bitch, you know what I mean? Judgment's been called and it's protected. You're protected, okay? Eight of Cups. Now they're gonna walk away because they realize judgment's been called. Yeah, they see your happiness, your joy, your abundance, your prosperity. They also have been exposed, and they know it, and they're under heavy fucking judgment for what they've done. They see you as their happiness, their joy, their abundance, their prosperity, okay? And they've been exposed as witch bitch for what they've been doing to you. They're spying on you, okay? But also, your, 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 your actual person, your twin flame or whatever, they're watching you. They see you as their happiness. They could have maybe possibly you call it judgment. They see you call it. <laughs> when you call judgment on it too on a situation mean that shit okay be passionate about it okay feel it have enough of it like I'm tired of fucking people doing this fuck that shit call judgment and, and own that shit and mean it 
also whenever you're like really irritated i'm not telling you to get irritated but when you're really i don't know i feel like electricity could act weird around you or something that's because when you're really fucking passionate about something you've really had enough when you're really fucking sick and tired of the bullshit and you call it then that's even like whenever you get an um, earth angel angry or upset like the you have no idea <laughs> you have no idea what happens okay so when you get finally get enough of it and enough and enough and enough then you fucking you mean it when you say it with every every little bit of your like inside of you and like all the way down to the fucking core this person they're gonna i'm telling you right now they're gonna go bye bye they're choosing happiness they're choosing their empress they're choosing to leave this fucking weirdo alone that weirdo don't want nothing to do with them. All they want is their money, their 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 life, their literally their life. When they can actually be with a true one, a real one that would never do any of this weird shit to them. Damn, these ones just came. I just caught these ones. All right, obsidian. Obsidian. Um, obsidian stones are protective stones. Black obsidian is known to be the strongest. The stone allows you to be um, protected from incoming negative energy in daily life. Holding it briefly above the third eye each morning during meditation creates a positive shield around you. A live night. We all hold on to guilt from our past. These things weigh our spirit down and prevents us from growing. Olivine is a natural and powerful spiritual cleanser. Hold to the throat and say aloud the guilt you are holding on to. As you speak the words, the guilt will disappear. Olivine. Someone's name could be Olivia. Pedalite, pedalite, pedalite. Somebody be a pedophile. What the fuck? Um, the angelic stone was used to um, by shamans to provide a safe environment around them as they explore the spiritual plane. W um, with its very high vibration, it's excellent to use during meditation. It can help you reach back in time and heal old family wounds and trauma. A rare stone, this beauty this beauty comes in many different shades of green. Place under your pillow at night and use with your daily meditation. This stone brings peace to one's mind. It can calm racing thoughts that keep you awake at night. Best when used as jewelry or just hold over your third eye for a look at past lives. Tiger's eye. Place this uh, powerful stone on the third eye during meditation. The high vibrations from the earth and the sun embrace psychic abilities. This has been carried as a protective am amulet for centuries. It brings courage and energizes the spirit and balances the chakras. Also known as a bloodstone, like its namesake, it can cleanse negative energy in the blood. By doing this, it, it grounds any anger or resentment in your heart and blood. It throws a calming effect on your heart when you are wearing, when you are feeling irritated or impatient. Redstone. Nice. Let's get you some Jesus and angel messages. Now you see. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, angel, ancestors, and mom, the best. Um, give me. This is just for the collective at this time, please, thank you. Thank you. Let your light so shine before men that they see they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew five sixteen. That came out earlier. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke eleven twenty eight. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew seventeen twenty. 
All right, guys, I gotta pee. I'm gonna leave it here. Until next time, remember, God loves you. So do I. Spread love, not hate, always. And please do not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, and ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation for all that they do in our lives because they're moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles. And please, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit like, please hit share, please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not the requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The information is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of but with all of my heart, ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been. Gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful, gorgeous, soul, sinful. All right, guys, God bless.